Hi guys, so in this video, the question that I would like to ask Neeraj is what is the full process of applying for PhD for both regular and along with job and I think uh, yeah, Neeraj might be knowing for ISC but it would be more or less same I believe. So Neeraj, yeah, what is the process of applying and what approvals do you need from your company or other documents? Yeah, so uh, for uh, regular PhD basically there will be application will come two times in a year. They okay. call it a midterm application. Uh, in for the admission in Jan mm -hmm. and then admission in August. Mm -hmm. So you need to keep checking uh, the website or follow in LinkedIn. So there will be updates when they're going to have a uh, application open. Mm -hmm. uh, so once the applications are open, you need to obviously fill the whole form and uh, there will be all those requirements like see, I mean all the marks and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, for PhD, for regular PhD, you need to have a GATE score mm -hmm. or uh, if you are applying in some science field, you need a maybe uh, a net score okay. need a net i forgot the name so phd ke liye is also gate is valid. yeah they need uh, some uh, score yeah okay. i mean that should be valid score card okay. it should not be like a old uh, gate score for okay. a regular phd mm -hmm. and once you apply they based on your credentials like your uh, previous uh, graduation marks and mm -hmm. your gate score they'll call for you for an interview okay and uh, in uh, I mean you can choose three departments I think uh, that you want to apply in three departments and they'll mm -hmm. call you for interview in each department okay and generally uh, the interview contains I'll can detail in detail we can discuss more about the interview mm -hmm. uh, but there will be an interview mm -hmm. and then after that once you get selected you can choose you can discuss with professors and then you can choose a professor a guide basically okay. who under whom you are going to uh, do your PhD mm -hmm. so that's a that's the way we can do for regular PhD mm -hmm. and similarly for ERP so in, in IAC we call external registration program ERP okay. candidates for PhD and for masters if they mm -hmm. want to do with a job mm -hmm. uh, again there will be application for two uh, terms like mm -hmm. there will be for Jan admission and the August admi uh, admission so I joined in the Jan admission okay uh, so uh, now in uh, in this application you need few things first mm -hmm. thing is that you needed to identify your guide first mm -hmm. so in regular PhD after j getting the you know admission letter offer letter you can choose your uh, guide mm -hmm. but here you need to choose beforehand okay uh, in in ERP candidate can apply to one department only at a time okay, okay? so they cannot have an option of applying two departments three departments okay. as a regular PhD okay. uh, so once you need to so basically first thing what you need to do is you need to start talking with the professor you have to start mailing the professor and before say itself. before itself mm -hmm. before uh, I mean the moment the application comes out or maybe before application comes out you can mm -hmm. if you're interested you can start talking with the professor mm -hmm. uh, for that you need to go to the website in the department websites and then go to the professor pages and see what research they are doing and mm -hmm. if your research inclined with the research you mm -hmm. can just mail them sir I am interested in that and I am working in this, this field mm -hmm. uh, and I want to apply the ERP candidate mm -hmm. if they are interested in you mm -hmm. they might reply back mm -hmm. and uh, then you can discuss and if they're ready to take you then you know like, there's a one guide who's ready to uh, one professor who is ready to okay. take you okay? Okay. okay so that is the first thing generally so you, what are the I mean, generally what is the frequency of professor applying back how much time professor <laughs> takes and uh, so generally it is less uh, I mean like how many uh, emails you need to yeah I mean uh, so I'm I, I mean I didn't send much emails but yeah the okay. percentage I mean for me the I mean the return rate was higher but okay. generally it is low, low okay. uh, and I mean generally uh, professor d uh, doesn't prefer ERP candidate because mm -hmm. again the same thing because you can't give as much research time as the regular students are giving mm -hmm. right because you're doing a job mm -hmm. So that is one of the reasons that you might not get the reply. But mm -hmm. don't worry, you can, I mean, there are a lot of professors in ISC, so you can keep trying to all the professors. Mm -hmm. um, second thing you have to identify are is, uh, a guide in your company. So there will okay. be a requirement that you need to have a person mm -hmm. who will, uh, I mean, he should be a PhD and a postdoc. Mm -hmm. Oh. and who is ready to take you i mean you just need to need to give a name the mm -hmm. uh, what his job will be to you know give the updates to the college that okay what research you're doing in the organization mm -hmm. is in, you know aligned with uh, what you're doing mm -hmm. for the phd mm -hmm. so you need to identify those two things mm -hmm. uh, then third thing will be there will be noc requirement from the company okay so iic has a one uh, pro forma so you need to exactly fill the same thing get it signed from the co uh, company. company so okay. all the rules and regulations are written in that and company has to sign that and there will okay. be other nocs like insurance noc and other things are there so those are once your interview is over okay, okay so before interview you need to have noc from the company mm -hmm. 
uh, that the same performer that I see asking, mm. you need a CV of your sponsor, a guide basically from your institute, mm -hmm. sorry not Company. from organization, mm -hmm. you need a guide from institute mm -hmm. and then obviously you can and uh, have all these CVs and everything that you need to do okay. and you don't need to have a GATE score. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, so no requirement of any competitive exam. Things. But then it's very difficult, I mean, obviously first finding the guide from the college, it's okay. It's but <laughs> within company also, you have to have someone who will take care of you as a guide. Yeah, so uh, I mean the idea here is a company is allowing you to do a research without in the college. Because there must be some, there is someone some research yeah. candidate is there who can guide you because correct. he's a postdoc student, correct, right? Correct, correct. So there How to find that candidate then? You have to talk <laughs> to everyone? No, you need to figure out like who is PhD in postdoc in your organization and then talk okay. to that person and tell them uh, I'm interested. Are you, I mean, can I give your name? It's a difficult job, so but PhD I mean. PhD also and he should be postdoc also. Postdoc also. So that means number of people of, are very less. Yeah, the there is very less. Yes, and therefore sometimes most of the company uh, can't, uh, you know. Provide this. Uh, yeah, I mean, because they don't have a postdoc. Correct. So that's sometimes issue comes. And if your organization is new mm -hmm. and they're not registered with that college, okay. maybe IS or something, so they want to evaluate the organization performance also. Okay, okay. So for that, they will need a one draft copy, a copy where you need to say what are the research that your company has done, how many papers they have published, how many patents okay. they have, how many you know, PhD candidates they have. Okay, okay. So all those information also you need to compile and send mm -hmm. it to the college. Okay, okay. That, it, once, that is the first one-time job if, you're, if someone already from an organization has applied it and mm -hmm. got into a college, then yes, you don't need to do it. Correct, okay. correct. Okay. Yeah, so this is a process still applying the application. Okay, uh, we can discuss after that once you again the same thing will happen uh, if you uh, get selected based on your credentials, they'll call you for uh, call you for the interview, interview, and the interview will be again same as the interview that will be a regular candidate have take. Okay. So same professor, everything will be same. It won't be like you will be given a leniency that uh, you don't. I mean the questions will be at the same. Uh, Maybe we can level. discuss in more detail about the interview yeah. also, right? That was sure. So this is a procedure, and so first important thing is finding a guide. Understood. That is the toughest job. Correct. So I think. Two guides basically in college, yeah. in your company, and then following through the full process. And how much time it takes, like this first application to getting response from the com uh, institute? So, generally, application uh, will be open for one month. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I'll suggest find you should start finding a guide at least the, the moment the uh, application starts, if you can't do it before that. Mm -hmm. uh, because, as I told you, professor won't reply. I mean, you won't get Correct. a very frequent replies. Correct. So, you need to keep looking for the research. You, need to read, you might need to read the research paper to Correct. see whether it's aligned with your research. Correct. So, keep doing that and then taking the NOC from the company, it might Correct. take five to six days because they need to get approval from their heads. Correct. Okay. Okay. So therefore, if you do it early, it is good. If Correct. you do late, it's like sometimes become a very time crunching situation. Correct. So, for example, the date you applied and you submitted all the documents to IC. Now, how much take time IC takes to be confirmed that okay, what's oh, the next step? Yeah. So that every day uh, timeline will be given on the website. Yes, so uh, when the application closes, they'll give you seven days to send the hard copies. So okay. you need to send the hard copies also. Okay. okay. All the application forms in seven days you have to mail them or if you are in Bangalore or in whichever college in your city, you just go to and you know. Uh, send, give those hard copies to them mm -hmm. then in after 10 days they will uh, tell you whether you are selected for interview or not mm -hmm. after the interview it will take at least two weeks because they have interview will be going on for one or two weeks for mm -hmm. different candidates mm -hmm. so then you'll get a confirmation then the offer letter will come and all other requirements will come into picture okay sure sure so i think yeah uh, the process about the interview that we will cover in the next uh, video so please thanks thanks for watching and yeah keep sharing and do subscribe yeah Thank and if you. you have any questions that Correct. that i have not answered in this video in the previous videos please write in the comment yeah. so they will try to answer those questions okay and this all what i'm uh, sharing is my, my experience Correct. if you have any question if i don't know i can search it and we can do some research on it and try to you know give you the better answer sure okay. sure thank cool. you and again a very good i see background that you will see in all, all the videos so, yeah, <laughs> thank, thank you, you.